Hello, content drop today for Halo Infinite Season 4. They've added the new 10 tier free pass to the game um, for the Fracture event where you can earn uh, like a keychain, some shoulder pads, a little bit of like a waist buckle thing with grenades on it, uh, a new armor coating, and uh, there's like some helmet attachments and a visor in there too. That's pretty much it. And then they added Solitude, which is Plaza from Halo 5. And guys, it is absolutely amazing. No, I'm kidding. It, it's literally just Plaza with like a dull aesthetic. Um, it's 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 just Plaza with a dull. It's like metal and planks and barrels and just dull, barren UNSC aesthetic that we've seen on 80% of the maps. Uh, the fact that it was made with Forge is cool because it does not look like a Forge map. Um, unless you look like really closely at some of the objects because they kind of clip and things and some of the textures are kind of stretched on like walls and things where obviously the um, forged uh, object has been scaled um, but yeah it's it's just plaza from Halo 5 um, it's good that it's in the game it's more content I'm sure the uh, the pro players will like it because it was very much liked um, in Halo 5's HCS stuff so that'd be cool, more content for them, more of uh, more maps for their map rotation. Obviously it will go into casual stuff as well, and it's it's good to have uh, variety. I just wish they would have used the aesthetic from Halo 5, because I, uh, I really liked that one. It was more vibrant, neon signs, uh, easy to distinguish different locations based on colour of the signs and things like that, uh, and the lights that were used, and yeah, this one's just... Brown, grey, and white. That's that's it. Um, but you know, you you can't complain. More content is uh, is more content at the end of the day. Hopefully, they keep it up because I don't think this is going to be enough to you know keep people playing. People will play a couple matches of it for maybe a week or something, and then the novelty kind of runs out. Uh, it gets used as a competitive map, I'm sure. And, and besides that, it's it's just another map. I think the community playlist needs to be updated. Um, we usually get four new Forge maps in there every month. Hopefully that gets updated in the coming weeks. And then also I'd like to see some new game modes. They mentioned the mini game stuff has now been added. So people will be able to make um, things like Griff Wall and Ricochet um, from Halo 3 and Halo 4 respectively. Uh, so that would be cool if those get added to the game. And that's it. Um, yeah. Not much to talk about. Halo is pretty dull now, to be honest, uh, but we've been through this stage many times. I personally am not really playing. Um, only time I play social is to record videos, and then besides that, I might play 20 to 30 minutes of ranked, um, and that that's my day for Halo. Uh, some days I'm not even jumping on at all. Um, and again, I've said before, quickly before we end this, um, Steam charts isn't everything, but I do know the Xbox numbers. And uh, the game is losing players. Um, in fact, MCC has outperformed Infinite for the past couple of days. And I, I see that being, um, you know, the trend that's going to happen for, like, the rest of this season. Unless they drop a huge, like, you know, content drop or something uh, midway through. Um, but yeah. Uh, Halo has lost about 32,000 players over the last uh, 30 days. Uh, so it's basically losing like a thousand players a day who are no longer logging in. Um, that's what I mean by losing players. Um, that's not how many are concurrent. Infinite has like a few hundred thousand people that log in every month. And uh, yeah, in the past 30 days, 30,000 of those chose not to. Um, so yeah. <laughs> uh, player base is only going to dwindle down. Um, and uh, it's going to be harder to find matches and stuff. And just uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I covered it, but also um, 343's workforce was heavily scaled down. There were some uh, people who got let um, let off at uh, 343. Microsoft um, basically got rid of like a quarter of the um, the people at the uh, at 343 Industries. So obviously, content for Infinite will probably be scaled back. So I think the way to do it is just involve the community more. You know, put more Forge maps in. If people make cool game modes, put those in and just really let the community um, keep this game afloat, uh, which is something I said many months ago, is what should uh, should happen. So yeah, here's to hoping for 
more uh, community made maps and game modes entering matchmaking and we'll only have to uh, you know we'll just have to wait and see that's it um, I'll see you in my next video don't know what it's gonna be don't know if it'll be Halo because I have no ideas because um, all I'm doing now is playing ranked a bit um, so yeah might have to try and find something else to do I was debating playing uh, only up and then I watched like three or four streamers play that I was just like no because I would just quit. Like, <laughs> if I fell from like a 40 minute run in that game, I'd just quit and be like, nah, I'm not loading this again. Why am I wasting my life doing this? Um, so, yeah, we'll see what I come up with next. All right, cool. Um, yep, uh, let me know in the comments what you think of Solitude or Plaza. Um, and let me know what you think of Forest as well, because that's, uh, that's in the rotation for the uh, like 24 seven Forest and Plaza playlist. Let me know what you think of those. And I'll see you in the next video whenever it drops. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching the video. As always, if any of you are interested, I am making a third-person arena shooter. You can wishlist it on Steam. It's called Cross Planet. It's inspired by Halo, Quake, Unreal Tournament, Mass Effect, Destiny, loads of different sci-fi games. Um, it's online multiplayer, and uh, we've got a playtest coming up, hopefully in the next like six weeks or so. Um, so if anyone wants to add it to their wish list, you'll be notified when the playtest drops. And if you do, I'll see you there. We also have a Discord server, so consider joining that. And you can talk to me, the devs, and the rest of the community. Uh, and yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. Goodbye.